Hey, what's up, YouTube? Third video today. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be spacing them out though, so don't you worry. You're not gonna have three videos in one day and you'll be like, oh, this is annoying as shit. No, no, we're gonna put them out. I think I'm gonna be having a video coming out every three days. Does that sound good? Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. Just kind of going with it. Um, there's gonna be another story time for the day. I'm I'm down for telling stories right now. Um, so I don't. As you guys know, I smoke or I used to smoke a lot of weed, a lot of weed. Um, so <laughs> this is back when I was with my dad. Um, and my stepmom. And so there was one day, me and my friend, we, so what we would do is on the weekends, he would come over <laughs> and you know who you are, man. We are homies. We've been with each other like since the beginning. You guys probably know who I'm talking about, but I am leaving names out. And some of you guys probably don't, but that's why I'm leaving names out. Don't want any, anything, anybody getting anything, you know what I'm saying? So. We would, uh, we had this screen room. So our house, so this is the front of the house. Like, I, I'd be the front of the house, right? This is like the front door. And so like, here's the garage, just the other side of the house. Well, behind, like in the back, it like a screen, we had a screen room, but it like, we had these doors that could go. It, it was really nice. It had a fire, big ass fireplace, like a brick fireplace. Really nice. Um, we used to stay in there. And what we would do is we'd wait for the parents to go to sleep. We'd go out and smoke and get us fucking stoned. <laughs> well, um, there was one night that, so we're sitting there, we're waiting. We're waiting for that light to go off. And then we give it about 20 minutes, let them be settled down. You know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, let's stop the smoke. Well, so I had the weed under my pillow, the lighter on my pillow, the... Whatever we were smoking out of under my pillow. And we look, we see the light go off, we'll give it a little bit, right? So we go. I'm like, I grab the lighter and I flick it, make sure it still works, you know. Could go out. That would be where we would have an issue, because like it's not like we just find lighters all over the place. Not now. What now got one sitting right here, like it just always something. Um <clears throat> Yeah, the wind is definitely going that way. <laughs> We're gonna see. Oh. A little bit better. Um so getting ready, spark the ladder, have the weed. As 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 young ones, we wouldn't we would get like a gram and smoke it. But it wouldn't even really be a gram. We'd be getting jib. We'd get like 0.5, but still, we were getting stoned. Because, like, our tolerance was. <clears throat> um, So, make sure. Next thing I know, I hear a boom. Like, it, the, the door closing. Because we were outside pretty much, because it was a screen room. And, like, so right here's like, a, like the outside door. It's a big French door. I hear a boom. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm glad we didn't go out. He walks in. What you guys doing? I have the lighter in my hand. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm like, oh, we're just watching some TV, you know, playing it off. Hey. Um, and my and my friend's like, oh, just having a good time. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, oh god. Um, and he's like, oh, all right, well, we're going to sleep. And I'm like, get there faster, please. <laughs> I didn't say that, obviously. That would have been a problem. Um, this is my vegan pillow. Oh, all right, people don't this. No, 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 I'm playing. Um, it's for my feet, so I can put up on the coffee table. It's a uh, piece of the fellow, piece of the pillow fell off of the, um, of the original pillow. And so now I just have this pillowcase and I just put it on the table and put my feet up on it. Yep. Just holding on to it. Um, and so I'm like, oh God. And he's like, all right, we're going to go to sleep. We get stoned as fuck. 
and we're fine. And at this point, I'm thinking, oh, he's suspicious. And my pa- paranoia is like, because, you know, I'm stoned and your paranoia goes up. So, and you have every right to be paranoid at that point. You're like, oh, my God. So, night was, everything was fine. Then, a couple weeks later, oh, man. I'm sitting there. I have this, like, I have this cut on my finger, like, right here. I have one now, too. I was fishing, and I was trying to break off the line, and it cut right into my finger. It hurts so bad, and still, still hurts. Probably. Fuck it. Can't see it. But, um, so, the, uh, thing of it is, you know the liquid, like, skin? Yeah, you dip it in, and it has that strong, super strong odor. Whole house smelled like the shit because as I'm putting this bottle or putting this stuff on my finger, it is burning like crazy. I'm going. Mm. My dad had to sleep up in the ne- in the room beside me because I think my stepmom was sick or something. He didn't want to get sick, or maybe he was sick. I don't remember. But um, I as I go to put the little little thing back in. Yeah, still doing it. Um, I go to put it back in, and I knock it over. And it spills all over the place, and it smells so fucking bad. My stepmom, all I hear, boom, 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 like running up the stairs, bust through my door. What the fuck are you doing? Whole house smells like fucking fumes. And (laughs) I'm... This shit is in my, like, I'm trying to scrape it up off the ground so, like, it doesn't, because it eats away at the, like, the finish of furniture. When I got it off of my night, like, the nightstand, like, the whole finish was just taken off. Not of the whole thing, but there was, like, a little splotch, and it was just taken off. And I have it in my hands, and I'm like, and she walks in, and I guess she was thought I was huffing it. I don't know. So, then more suspicion rises. She used to search my room a lot. Like, I don't, like, a lot. Like, she used to just tear my fucking room apart and go crazy. If she found any little, anything that could be, like, bad, she'd flip her shit. So, like, obviously, I couldn't have, like, any alcohol in the room, anything bad. I found so many great hiding spots. That's another thing. Um, Your parents know where your hiding spots are. I'm just going to put that out there for right now. Um, Every place that I thought I had a hiding spot... And it was brilliant. Like, you would have never fucking thought to even look there. She found it. She found every little thing that I ever had. Like, I would hide it in the back of my fucking amp. And I'd screw in the screws. And she'd be like, stuff in there. Open it up. I mean, obviously, that can be pretty suspicious. Damn. But, like, there was other spots that I had. I can't remember all of them right now. I'll probably make a video about my hiding spots that I had as a kid. Um, So, one day she runs in my room, starts tearing shit up. I had a bag of weed in my room. Like, I think I had two grams in it. And I'd slid it. So, the way that my dresser worked, the drawers would open up. But there would be a little shelf up underneath that wouldn't let stuff drop under. But, like, you, if even if you, like, opened up and looked, you couldn't exactly see. <sighs> she started tearing shit out, and I'm sitting there fucking, fuck, 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 fuck. She's going to find the weed. Like, I'm fucked. Like, there's nothing I can do at this point. <laughs> Damn. People stomp in this building way too much. I know I sometimes do it. Like, come on, chill the fuck out. Mitch's supposed to be here later. (coughs) (coughs) So I had the lighting and it turned off. Um, shit. The, uh, so she's running through my fucking drawers. 
and it's sitting in like I think it was the second or third drawer up underneath it, and I had it like taped. She fucking ripped it out. She looked. She said, "I smell the weed," and I'm like, at this point, I'm thinking it is an airtight con- containment. Only a true stoner could smell this shit. Like you'd have to be like, ooh, weed. You know when you're driving down the road and you go, huh, is that a skunk or is it weed? And only the true stoner can tell between like skunk or weed and you just know. My, my point exactly. Like you could not smell that shit if you weren't a stoner. So I, that's where my suspicion starts rising about her. I don't know. Like, I think she smoked back in the day. I genuinely do. She seems like a person that did. And now she's just trying to, like, shut all this shit down. <laughs> um, And I don't Maybe something bad happened to her. I don't fucking know. Or care. Um, She's like, where is it? And I'm like, where's what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where's what? And, um, the, uh, she's like, I, can, I, I know you have weed. Where is it? Like, I know you've been smoking weed. Like, me and your dad have been so suspicious. I'm like, I don't have any. I don't know what you're talking about. She shoves the fucking drawers back, and I'm like, oh, oh, she put it away. She put it away. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. She's like, I know you have weed. I don't know where it is, but I can, I'll fucking find it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, she didn't find it. She's like, we will be drug testing you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fucked. I start, I start guzzling the fucking water. She runs to the store to go buy this drug test. My dad is, I think he's like five minutes away from the house. My like, dad, 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 you got to get this bitch off my back. She thinks I'm smoking weed. And he, he knew. We were, we had the, we were on the down low about that shit. Like, he knew. He wasn't pissed because he knew he, he can't exactly do anything about it. Like, yeah, you can ground me. But, like, really? Really? Are you going to fucking ground me for that shit? Are you really going to ground me for that? Well, yeah, a normal parent fucking would but he was like i can't change you grounding you is just gonna piss you off the relationship just shouldn't be fucked for that so we were chill and he was like just don't let me catch you but the bitch was running to the store and he was like what i need you to do search on the internet how to pass a fucking drug test so i learned you can put bleach it, don't try this. Do not try this if your company's drug testing you, anything like that, because it will show up. It will show up on that drug test that you put bleach in it. If you take a little bit of bleach, now it's gonna be nasty as shit to stick your finger in that piss, but you do what you gotta do. You wash your fucking hands. So you dip your little finger in some bleach, you piss in the cup, and as you're handing the cup, you dip your finger in there, and you hand it to him, the bleach will just cut everything out. Some drug tests, it'll show up negative, like negative, and then some drug tests will just show up inconclusive. Depends on what drug tests you have. If it's one of those at home, like cheap ass drug tests, all the way, it'll say negative every fucking time. But if it's one of those more like $90 fucking drug tests or something, you might want to try something else. You might be fucked, or you might, if you have some knowledge beforehand, Get some cleanser, whatever. Whatever you can do, find some piss, do whatever. Finding piss at it for an at-home drug test is that that's a little sketch because your parents are gonna be standing over you watching that shit. Like, what are you gonna do? Take out a bag and go, like, "Oh, this is my fucking dick." I was in the hospital when you were born. I know what your dick looks. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a fucking plastic bag unless you're really gonna go out and get one of those fake dicks. I don't. So, um, he's like, "All right." Just do- find something so i put the bleach i passed it luckily (laughs) she was like okay october rolls around october 31st i decided to get a little a little high a little high for that sitting on the couch watching a movie and i'm just like watching a movie my son my mom said are you okay i'm like yeah what the 
yeah, I'm fine. And she's like, you look high. What am I supposed to say? Be like, no. Be like, so I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, your eyes are a little red. And I'm like, oh, I took a shower. I have some soap in my eyes. She's like, drug test right here, right now. Uh, what was I supposed to do? And it was one of the, it wasn't one of those cheap ass ones. It was the ninety dollar one where you know you're fucked. It's in one of those cups that have the little things around the around the bottom of them where your piss sits and it tells you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I got fucked. She found out. She got super pissed. She, oh. That's mainly the reason why I'm kicked out now. But I'm better off without it. It's been a good video, guys. I've been enjoying talking with you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any funny stories like that, let me know. Um, I want to know about them. If you have any funny drug test stories, tell me. Because... They're hysterical. Even though it might have been bad at the time, they're funny now, and you know they are. All right. Have a great day, guys. Again, you can only change you. You do you. Enjoy your life.